Hi, this is Dr. B. Let's balance this equation. We have one potassium, we have one nitrogen, and we have three oxygens on the reactant side. On the product side, we have one potassium, one nitrogen, and then we have two oxygens here, plus these two here, for a total of four oxygens. At this point, everything's balanced except the oxygens. It's usually easiest to try to get an even number of oxygens on both sides. So to do that, if I multiply this potassium nitrate by two, I have two times the one, that gives me two potassiums, two times the one, that gives me two nitrogens, and then two times the three here, that'll give me six oxygens. So at this point, everything's an even number. So if I put a two, in front of the potassium here, that's just one times two, that gives me two of those. So the potassiums are balanced. Two times the nitrogen here, so two times the one. I have two nitrogens, those are balanced. And now we need to recalculate how many oxygens we have since we added this coefficient in front of the potassium nitrite. We have two times two, that's four, plus these two here, that's two, and that gives us six. So now, all of the atoms on each side of the equation, everything's equal, so this equation is balanced. The trick here, be careful, watch out that you have two oxygens here and here. You need to make sure you account for those. And then try to get an even number of oxygens on both sides. That'll make balancing easier. Things usually work out once you have that. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.